<sighs> okay, so this is a little video trying to explain what instruments to use on what layers. So, I think I was not originally going to go into the incisions, but I think I'll do that really quick. So, first we need a 10 blade. Bear in mind that I don't have gloves on. So we use a 10 blade. To make a midline incision on the skin and a subcutaneous layer. And then our first sharp goes down on the back table, which that'll represent the back table. And then after that, we have our main instrument, which are, this is supposed to be the mail stand, or something similar to what the mail stand would be, um, minus the order of things. And we grab a Kelly. So we would grab the subcutaneous layer and the skin together with the Kelly, and grab another Kelly, and do the same. And this is basically for an exploratory laparotomy case. So now that we've passed the skin and subcutaneous layer, we are now on to the fascia, which is a tougher layer. So we would grab the fascia with a little bit of a stronger uh, tooth, in uh, tooth instrument called the coker. And we would grab the fascia with the coker. And I'll grab it right here. And bear in mind that we would use another 10 blade, not the one off the back table, but a new one to incise the fascia. Then we, then we would use a curved mayo scissor to extend the scission of the fascia uh, a little bit better so we have more uh, visual. And we could grab another coker, grab another side of the fascia, and now we're into the muscle area. And the muscle can just be like gently retracted. I believe with like some some laps using like a blunt dissection and pull it away and then we can use a retractor and we would use two Richardson retractors to get some better visualization bar any kind of bleeders which we would use some ligatures or some reels to tie off some bleeders and then once we get down to the last layer it's kind of hard to see but the last layer leaves us with the peritoneum in which we use a seven handle with a 15 blade right. to nick the peritoneum and it will go back on the mail stand and then we use the medicine bomb scissors to continue to cut along the peritoneum and for the peritoneum, we will use two schnitz. And those are going to be for deeper in, and they're going to be able to hold the uh, more delicate layers of the tissue for the peritoneum. And then we are ready to explore.